literature related to how to measure a firm's economic performance, and its connection with industry and firm's factors. The literature has proposed several indexes to measure firm economic performance. Bothwell, Cooley, and Hall 31 and Qualls 32 used sales, costs, sales, similar to the Learner Index. Holterman 33 included other variables such as output, person, output, capital, output, costs, and similar ones using profits instead of output. He also used the Learner Index and growth of productivity. Bothwell 34 approached the concept of stock value as a proxy of economic performance by mentioning free cash flow, however, he finally used return on equity, RO, and return on assets, ROA. Other streams of research focus on the EVA as a value-based management tool. Probably the most advanced and inclusive one is Fletcher's research, which presents an integrated value-based management model linking the EVA and balanced scorecard to decide and monitor strategies. Some authors have incorporated the EVA in their analysis, including Pettit, 35 Etner, Larker, and Meyer 36 and Banker, Potter, and Srinivasan.37 Most of these works relate to the pros and cons of EVA in accounting and strategic management. There is no research that has linked the EVA model with IO or RVF indicators as such. The closest link between stock value creation and industry factors is presented by Lindenberg 38 and Montgomery and Wernerfeld.39 They reframe Tobin's skew as a concept related to stock value creation, the difference between the market value of the stock and its book value, which is the net present value of discounted future EVAs. Lindenberg reformulates Tobin's Q correlations with specific assets, capital special factors and monopoly power, scale economies and patents. Montgomery and Werner felt related to intangibles, value of intangibles, collusion, unique Ricardian factors, and disequilibrium factors.